FOMO. Moving if you're on. Still here. He says it's up to the mixer, but I have yet to meet a mixer who would mix Atmos overhead for below 120 hertz. So here's the thing. In a Logic Pro session, there is an Atmos plugin that goes in the master chain. Before the master chain, if you want to do any effects on any of the channels, it has to go before that. And if you do it before that, that's not going to include the height channels. So anything I'm messing around with in the past like weekend, I've been messing around with it. Um, it's pretty much full range. The signal, if I'm using an object and it's starting you know, front left and I bring it you know, right to my forehead and then go up, it's not mixed to filter out um, sounds, you know, at a certain frequency range. It's just, it's the sound is the sound. It's just doing its thing and moving around. So it's up to your AVR to really filter out everything under a certain level for your home theater setup. So there's no actual real way unless you went to each an individual sound and put an EQ and shape it in a way that you wanted to. So I bet you anything, uh, FOMO, no mixer actually has um, a shelf of frequency that they're cutting off in the Atmos channel. So is he saying, the way I read this was, it sounds to me like he's talking about like the person, the mixer person who's doing it is saying mm -hmm. that they don't want anything above or below 120 being sent. That's how yeah, I read so, it. Right, me too. But okay. I'm, saying, I'm saying since I'm using that software, mm -hmm. The only way to do that, like if a if an object is going around around you and then it goes up, so you have to then automate an EQ to be full range when it's down below you and then start to put a shelf when it's going up. That sounds like a lot of fucking work yeah. for, ev for every sound. Like, yeah. do you, you really think they're doing that? I 100% guarantee you they're not. They're not doing that. They're just putting the sounds and they're panning them around. And then your AVR is going to say, these sounds need to go up here, but we're going to cut off at 100. We're going to cut off at 80 or whatever the thing is. That's that is I is what I think is going on, because I right. there's the amount of time that these people have to make an Atmos mix, you know, with the deadlines for, oh, we have a 4K release coming out. Let's say Top Gun, November 1st. You know, they're probably working on the Atmos mix for months. Yeah. And then to to actually get this detailed to like the airplane flyover that's going to start off in the distance at ear level and then whoosh, come over you they're going to automate all that already and then they're going to automate a frequency range to cut it off at no they're not doing that your av receiver is doing that that's I'll, that's I'll that's take my take on uh, after you know spending time actually mixing i'll never know because i'll never have at most i got i got rung up for that this weekend too but <laughs> I, I asked hobie i'm like i'll send you something special what's your admo system like he's like dude i just have 5.1 <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's and he's like, got maybe, access to free speakers. I know. He's like, maybe I should use these set up four of these things. I was like, you should, dude. And I'll yeah, send really. you a custom, I'll send you a custom, uh, a custom Atmos call. It'll be like Hobie from the left channel. Hobie, Hobie, <laughs> Hobie, Hobie. Hobie. <laughs> and it's just all around the room. <laughs> oh, man. Eh, look it's at Joe. Freak him out. This, this show is interesting. Maybe I should subscribe. <laughs> uh, that's right, you guys. I say we unsubscribe him. Yeah, I don't know who this Maybe. Joe and Telly's guy, but I don't think I like him. Uh, uh, Ike needs to try out my Atmos mix. Yeah, uh, if you're a patron of mine, go ahead and check it out. I posted uh, a 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos callout. Uh, I heard it works on Plex. So, Paul, if you're if you're not a patron, smack you up, but Paul, <laughs> Paul, Paul Croson. Uh, yep. But yeah, you can download it and let me know. Um, it should. It should come through as Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus um, uh, through your receiver. You should be able to see all that. Uh, and it was not easy finding a way to actually get uh, <laughs> something to give you guys that's in Atmos. It's not, they don't make it easy. Even Joe was like, damn, they don't make that shit easy, do they? No, they didn't. No. Make sure to join us every Monday for our live stream at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com forward slash daily hi-fi.